Welcome back to Rad Builds, everyone. It's been a while since I posted, but that's because I was updating this beautiful background. And today, I'm going to show you how to make Percy Jackson's pen slash sword called Riptide from Percy Jackson and the Olympians, the Disney Plus series. Let me show you how it works. Yeah, it even does that. It's pretty cool. I'm just kidding. But there's also a light inside that when the lights go off, it'll glow like celestial bronze. And you'll also notice I painted it bronze as opposed to gold like it is in the series because I wanted it to be more accurate to the book version. And now, let's get to the build. For this build, I used 10mm foam, 1 inch PVC pipe, 7 8 inch PVC pipe, poster board, a wire hanger, a thin cord, liquid super glue, scissors, an X Acto knife, a pencil, this thin flashlight I found on Amazon, and I left a link in the description. These two Lego pieces, which are not actually needed, and I'll show what they're specifically used for later on. Pliers slash wire cutters, painter's tape, scotch tape, 2mm foam, 120 grit sandpaper, this Dremel as well as a sanding bit and a cutting bit. This flexi spackling, which I'm not sure if it's actually more flexible than normal spackling, but I like to think so. Silver spray paint as well as bronze spray paint and the patterns in the description. I taped the three pages together using some scotch tape and then I cut everything out of their respective materials. I measured 5 eighths of an inch on the 7 eighths inch PVC pipe and then I cut this part out with a Dremel. I repeated this process to cut off 3 inches of the 1 inch PVC pipe. As you can tell, I am removing the clip from the thin flashlight. Then I super glued this to piece number 1. And as you can tell, the side with the light coming out is glued on the edge of piece number 1. That way the cap on the other end can be left to be screwed on and off. This part is now glued inside of the 1 inch PVC pipe. I glued piece number two around the cap of the flashlight. Then I glued the cap inside of the thinner PVC pipe. Then I glued piece number three around the center of the PVC pipe. Then I glued piece number 4 over top of that. I glued piece number 5 over top of that. And then piece number 6 over top of that. Now I am putting the Legos together and they will go over top the button and fill the space where piece number 7 will cover. Now I'll show you how it works later on. So you'll place the battery in and screw the cap on and you'll push the middle of piece number 7 and when you do this the Lego will go into the button and it'll turn the flashlight on. And you'll do the same to turn it off. Now I'm wrapping the thin wire around piece number 4. And I'm going to glue this on with super glue but only on piece number 4 but that it touches the PVC pipe. Now you'll notice there's this dashed line noting score lines on the pattern, and I'm going to show you how to do this. So I took a ruler and an X-Acto knife, and I lightly cut into the poster board. Afterwards, I flipped the poster board over and slightly bent along this cut line. Make sure when you are scoring that you do not cut all the way through the poster board. Just cut lightly enough that it makes the poster board easier to bend. Now I'm gluing on piece number 9 onto piece number 8. and I glued piece number 10 on the other side. As you can tell, I also scored piece number 11 and then I glued this piece onto pieces numbers 9 and 10. Now I am going to smear a layer of super glue onto the middle of the sword. What this does is it makes the poster board more see-through. And because the outer edges have three layers of poster board, the light won't come through there, but it will come through the middle because it only has one layer. And that's what we want. I repeated this process for the other side of the sword. 
I used the wire cutters to cut off the hook of the coat hanger. And then I straightened out the coat hanger. I cut a piece off that was about 25 inches long and I placed it inside the handle. Then on the other side, I put the remainder of the straightened coat hanger. Now I'm using painter's tape and an X-Acto knife to cut out a sliver to go along the middle of the sword. I'm going to spray paint the insides of the sword silver so that the light better reflects inside the sword, but I don't want the spray paint to cover where I place the super glue so that the light can shine through. So I'm using painter's tape to cover this part up. And as you can tell, I only spray painted the insides of the blades. After this, I used an X-Acto knife to remove the painter's tape. Now I'm going to glue the two halves of the blade together. And to do this, I'm going to put painter's tape on one side of one blade, and then I'm going to put super glue along the inside of the edges of the blade. Now I'm placing the other half of the blade over top. Now I am folding the painter's tape over top. What the painter's tape does is it keeps the two halves of the blade closely pressed together while the glue dries. And once the glue is dry, I remove the painter's tape. Now I am using the 120 grit sandpaper to sand down the edges. I am just doing this to smooth any rough spots and fix wherever the two poster boards don't align well. Now I am adding super glue to the tip of the blade, and afterwards I scooped up some dust and sprinkled it over top of the super glue. Once the glue is dry, I sanded down the tip. What all this does is it strengthens it up so that it doesn't break so easily. I glued on piece number 12 on either side of the blade. Now I am gluing little slivers of 2mm foam in between the two piece number 12s and this is just to fill the gaps. I cut along the dotted line of piece number 12 from the pattern and I traced this onto the foam so that I would have a guideline for sanding. I used the sanding bit and the dremel on piece number 12 to make a smooth connection from the blade to the PVC pipe. After this, I covered the wire coat hanger in super glue, and then I slid this inside the blade. I added more super glue onto the piece number 12 so I could make a firm connection between them and the PVC pipe. Now I am using the flex spackling, and as I said, I don't really know if this is more flexible than normal spackling but I figured if it is, it's probably better to use on foam. And so I'm using it to fill the little slivers in between the piece number 12s and the gap in between piece number 4. Once the spackling was dry, I used the sandpaper again and I smoothed everything out. Then I took the sword apart and I covered everything electronic in painter's tape. Then I covered the entire sword in a thin coat of metallic bronze spray paint. And on the blade of the sword, I made sure to spray a very thin coat so that way the light could shine through when the lights are off. But that's that, and once you put the AAA battery inside and the two pieces back together, the sword is complete. Thank you all so much for watching. If you've made it this far and haven't liked this video, you should scroll down and do that now. I make things from Percy Jackson, the MCU, Stranger Things, and if that sort of thing interests you, you should subscribe and hit that notification bell to hear about all my new video releases. And if you haven't already, you should go check out some of my older videos and you can find those on my channel, Brad Builds.